What's up everyone, I'm Ole Englund and welcome to my comparison video between the orange Dark Terror and the orange Micro Dark. <laughs> I've done videos on both these amplifiers, but how do they fare against each other? That's what we're gonna find out today. So spec-wise, the differences between these amplifiers is that the Dark Terror is a full-on tube amplifier, while the Orange Micro Dark has a preamp in tube and the power section is solid state. The Dark Terror, 15 watt or 7 watt option on this. I think this is like 10 or 5 watts but both amplifier has basically the same layout when it comes to the knobs both have an effects loop this one is 650 bucks this one is 180, 190 bucks so I'm gonna compare these two amplifiers guitar straight into the amplifier and also a section where I'm using a tube screamer I just couldn't find, I was searching for it right here but it's not here, it's somewhere else oh it's on the floor I'm starting off with the settings on 12 o'clock on the Dark Terror and then I will do the same for the Micro Dark, okay? Let me turn up the gain to maximum. Okay, so right now I think I found a setting I like the most on this amplifier. It has enough gain, it has this punch and enough mids I would say. Alright, so here we go. The same starting settings as I had on the Dark Terror. So right away I can hear it has way less gain than its bigger brother, the Dark Terror. It just has less sizzle as well. So right off the bat I can definitely hear that the power section of the smaller Micro Dark it's just not as 
full in the frequency spectrum compared to the Dark Terror. I mean, fine, the character sounds about the same as the big one, but it's still a completely different sounding amplifier. But it's still very loud for what it is. Okay, let me try this with a Tube Screamer. Alright, so here is the Micro Dark with a Tube Screamer engaged. Let me set this a little bit like that. Let's switch back to the Dark Terror. Okay. I can definitely dial down the gain a little bit more on this one because it has more gain in general, but... I can hear now the difference. It's really like this bigger Dark Terror is keeping everything together. It's really... it's like it has this solid chug that just really sounds good, while the Micro Terror is a little bit more all over the place when it comes to frequencies and all that. This is just more controlled sounding. And I mean that in a good way, of course. So there you go. Not really any surprises here, I must say. I mean, this is the full-fledged amplifier. How can it not be better than the Micro Dark, which is made for, you know, saving space and, you know, just being a little bit more inexpensive amplifier. But still, this size is amazing. I love how loud this is, even though it's really small. But then again, I mean, this just sounds a lot better. It sounds more compact. It sounds more focused when you're riffing through it. For a live situation, I think it makes a lot more sense to have the full-fledged amplifier. It will definitely keep things together when you're going louder and louder. This will most definitely break up at some point, but if you just want to have a quick and fun time at home, I definitely recommend the Micro Dark. It's a lot of fun, this model thing. If you need something more that's a lot more focused, sounds better, and is made for live, then the Orange Dark Terror is the shit, basically. So there you go. Do you like this video? Put a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, see you next time.